BASS announced their new standards for forward-facing sonar for 2025. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button. Let me just say thank you to all the new members, all the new subscribers, all the people who comment all the time. I really do appreciate it. I'm humbled. It's, it's honestly amazing. But if you're not a subscriber, you should be because it's free. So click that button and become part of the team. This morning, Bassmaster announced their standards, their new standards for 2025 about forward-facing sonar. There's three things they're gonna do. To start off, only one transducer is gonna be regulated on the bow of the boat. So no more three or four all over the boat. There's gonna be one and it has to be tied to the trolling motor for those anglers in the 2025 Bassmaster Elites and anglers going to the Classic. Number two, they're only gonna allow 55 inches of screens on the bow and the dash. And third, they're only gonna allow one electric motor on the boat, so one trolling motor on the front, because this year we saw people that had them on their anchoring systems in the back. You can't have those. You're allowed one electric, one electric motor on your boat. And these three rules go into effect in 2025. So what does this mean for the hardcore, non, forward-facing sonar fans and anglers. Really, this isn't a giant step. It's hard for Bassmaster to make a giant leap like the NPFL did, and they can't because they have sponsors that are technology and electronic based. You just can't throw away that money. However, they're making efforts to try to reduce what's happening and what the fans are asking for. But this is not a win for anybody. This is probably holding us back a little bit and holding back what's going on over there too. But you have to realize that they're looking out for what's best for their business. And that's not gonna make a lot of people happy. And I apologize for that. People that think that this is a win for them or a win overall, it probably isn't. This is baby steps. These are things that need to happen slowly for bass. Bass isn't going to make or jump to a giant conclusion because of what the fans want or what they see. They're going to make smart, logical decisions before making a drastic move or a drastic change. And again, this isn't going to make everyone happy, but this is baby steps. And if you are not a person that likes forward-facing sonar, I apologize. But I don't know what you think Bass should have done to be real. This is exactly what we all kind of knew was going to happen. We knew transducers were going to go down. We knew screen size was going to go down. And the anglers that are really proficient at forward-facing sonar are not losing anything. And the anglers who are not using forward-facing sonar are still screwed. This is a tool when it comes down to it. And if you're not proficient at it and not using the tool, then it's on you. You can't expect to put a nail in a piece of wood with a pencil. You need a hammer. And if the hammer is your tool, you better be using it. And that isn't going to make anyone happy, and I apologize. But we have to be real and keep it real here. But Bass is making some sort of little statement and saying, look, let's do a little bit more work. Let's look at and see what happens with conservation and so forth. And let's try to make the right decision for our brand and for the anglers and for the fans. And they have a lot of money probably that comes in from the technology sponsors. And who wants to lose that? Right now you can't lose that because Bass is a business that has a ton of employees that they have to pay that put out the amazing content that they put out for us that we get for free. We, you have to remember that. They're putting out a product that we get for free. And if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. Again, this is a baby step. And while it's not gonna make everyone happy, I, I'm, I'm, I apologize. It is, I didn't make the decision, so don't shoot the messenger again. But this is what I think we all knew was gonna happen. But what do you think? Do you think Bass made the right decision? Are you gonna continue to watch Bass? I would hope so. Is this going to solve the issues that we have with forward-facing sonar? Comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I will talk to you very, very soon. Cheers and thank you.